Welcome to the online class organized by Government Haji Mohammad Mohsin College, Chetragram. I am Aisha Tabassuma, lecturer in English, with you to conduct this class. Today, our topic is What is Conflict? Lesson 2 from Unit 10, titled as Peace and Conflict. Look at the picture here. Two boatmen are oaring the same boat but to the opposite directions. Now, think what is the situation? How can the boat run? There is another picture with two individuals arguing with their two separate ideals. But do you point out do you notice that there is a middle point, middle portion where a bulb is lit up? Think what is happening or what is going on? Conflict. In the above pictures, we can find one common thing this is conflict, which is our topic today. Now, it is the time to define conflict. This is the text. This is from your textbook. Conflict can be described as a disagreement among groups or individuals characterized by antagonism and hostility. That means, usually conflict grows for the individuals or groups hostility or antagonism and this hostility and antagonism causes for the many things causes from many things arises from many things this is usually fueled by the opposition of one party to another in an attempt to reach an objective different from that of the other party every party has their own thinking own goals but this individual goals arises conflicts into two individuals or into two groups. The elements involved in the conflict have varied sets of principles and values, thus allowing a conflict to arise. There is principles and values. Every person, every group, every nation, every country have their own principles, sets of principles and own values. These differences values sometimes arises conflicts. Conflict can be defined in many ways but one of the simplest is that it pertains to the opposing ideas and actions of different entities resulting in an antagonistic state. Conflict is an inevitable part of life. This is the most important thing, line, that conflict is an inevitable part of life. Every people, every person, everything, everything have conflicts. Without conflict, there is nothing. There is no existence. All of us possesses our own opinions, ideas and sets of beliefs. Which is my belief is quite different to others which is my nation's values nation's culture is quite different from other nations we have our own ways of looking at things and we act according to what we think is proper hence we often find ourselves in conflict in different scenarios it may involve other individuals, groups of people, or a struggle within our own selves. Consequently, conflict influences our actions and decisions in one way or another. You can get a decision yourself, but when you discuss these things with another one, another person, your decision may be varied, may be something different and maybe the better one. 
conflict comes naturally the clashing of thoughts and ideas is a part of the human experience it is true that it can be destructive if left uncontrolled conflict is destructive conflict may have negative aspects negative influences if it is left uncontrolled however it shouldn't be seen as something that can only cause negative things to transfer it is a way to come up with more meaningful realizations that can certainly be helpful to the individuals involved conflict can be seen as an opportunity for learning and understanding our differences conflict can be seen as an opportunity it is an opportunity not the barriers not the obstacles it is the opportunity for learning and understanding our differences for this conflict we can know our differences we can know our individual identities we can uh, know about our thinkings about our choices about our way of life style we can all live harmoniously despite conflicts as long as we know how to responsibly manage these struggles now there is some diff- steps dump some types of this conflict conflicts always classified by the theories by the psychologists by the sociologists here in your text there is american psychologists types according to an american psychologist conflicts are basically of three types arising out of three different causes these are economic conflict value conflict and the last one power conflict economic conflict you notice a picture here this picture contains a globe earth globe of the world and a bag of currency the world involves in dispute involves in restlessness for the currency or for the value of money resources are limited and so groups or individuals come into conflict with each other to possess as much of these resources as possible thus bringing forth hostile behaviors among those individuals basically money belongs you but money belongs to you but resources always belongs to the society so these resources should be distributed properly but in the society or in the whole world resources are not usually distributed equally which leads the economic conflict everyone wants to be economically giant economically superpower super structure to dominate the others this economic conflict is the competition between two groups within society over limited resources the second one value conflict value conflict it is concerned with the varied preferences and ideologies that people have as their principles that means this conflict arises from the values or ideals ideologies your thinking conflicts driven by these factors are demonstrated in wars wherein separate parties have their separate sets of beliefs that they assert in an aggressive manner this type of conflicts depends upon some adjectives that means these are good or bad wrong or 
right, just or unjust, these are things. Basically, value conflict based someone's beliefs, someone's ideologies, addressing the elder person by the name is unjust in our culture, in our country. But it is, the, it is just in another, in the Western culture. So, this is the conflict between values. Power conflict. You can see a picture from ecosystem contains three fishes. These fishes, it, one is small, another is bigger and the biggest one. These fishes trying to, is trying to grasp one who is smaller than it. Everyone tries to, everyone in the world tries to dominate, tries to dominate the other, the lower other, the smaller, the inferior, the poorer one. Usually, every groups used to maintain inequality, used to dominate, used to rule on rule over others. Marxist conflict sees that two groups, these are the proletariat and bourgeois. The proletariat, the pro poor one, working class one, and the bourgeois are the ruling class party. Conflicts are also classified into the four following steps, interpersonal conflict, intrapersonal conflict, intragroup conflict and intergroup conflicts. We have discussion over these four types of conflicts. Interpersonal conflicts. This type of conflict refers to a conflict between two individuals, the two persons. This occurs typically because of differences among people. Apparently, it is a natural occurrence which can eventually help in personal growth or developing our relationships with others. In this picture, two individual persons disputing. This disputation becomes from their beliefs, maybe from their ideologies, maybe from their way of thinking of living intrapersonal conflict this is the most important conflict i think it occurs within an individual every person even you have conflicts in your within you the experience takes place in the person's mind hence it is a type of conflict that is psychological involving the individual's thoughts values principles and emotions. In this picture, a person cannot decide out, cannot make out the decision that whether he, whether he choose option A or option B. This conflict within one's mind is intrapersonal conflict. Think that in one rainy morning, rainy day, you get up from bed and you have to be ready for the college. But suddenly, hesitation grows into your mind that whether you go to college or not. Will you go to college or not to go? This is the conflict, intrapersonal conflict. Intragroup conflict. This it is a type of conflict that happens among individuals within a team. It arises from intrapersonal disagreements or differences in views and ideas. Within a team, conflict can be helpful in coming up with decisions which will eventually allow the members to reach their objectives as a team. In a team, there is 
various members, lots of members, more than one. And every members have every members has their own opinions, and these sorts of opinions can lead the conflict. These are the intra-group conflict. However, if the disagree of conflict disrupts harmony among the members, then some serious guidance from a different party will be needed for it to be settled. Just imagine, in your own class, there is more than 100 students. Each of you have your own thinking, own ideals, own beliefs, or own choices. Now, if you have to choose one topic, there may arise conflict. This is the intra-group conflict. Intergroup conflict. It takes place when a misunderstanding arises among different teams within an organization. This is due to the varied sets of goals and interest of these different groups. In addition, competition also contributes to intergroup conflicts. This is just uh, compared to your groups, academic groups, science, commerce, humanities, into three groups. The conflict among the three groups, science, business studies, and humanities, is the intergroup conflict. Now, it is the time to find out the causes, causes of conflict. We can find out some causes for this conflict, for arising conflict. These are the poor communication, the first of all, where there is gap of communication, lack of communication, there may be arises, may be arise conflict, lack of compromise. Everybody must have the thinking of compromise. Uncompromising situation always arise conflict, always make conflict. Needs not met. If you need if your needs are not met, you may involved into conflict. Prejudice. Prejudice is one of the most important causes for conflict. Prejudice. As Western people, they have some prejudice. We basically, we usually don't go beyond our prejudices. So that this makes some conflicts. Self-interest, everyone in this world are self-centered, everyone. We always think ourselves, we always think for our betterments, for own betterments, not the others. This th thinking leads conflict. Ignorance, ignorance is another cause because you, when you don't have no, no knowledge of lackings of knowledge for you of your rights what is the rights of your own this may occurs conflicts desire for power we described it earlier every person every group every organization every country every nation wants to be powerful, wants to be dominating one, wants to rule the others, rule over others. This desire always leads the conflict. Lack of empathy. That means fellow feelings. It happens for the lack for the self-interest. When one became self-interest, self centered he may be lacks of empathy and this lacks of empathy causes conflict making assumptions if you assume something of your own it may be wrong 
but your values your ideologies or your sense of dignity cannot cannot lead you cannot make you to agree with them to assert this and this makes conflict here is the picture we can notice that there is conflict between two groups but they are well arranged there is conflict but they have a tendency they have a notion they have a try to solve it this is the steps steps to resolve conflicts earlier we said that conflict is a inevitable part of life without conflict conflict there is nothing so to go through our future to go forward we have to solve this conflict to solve this conflict we can we can follow some steps firstly assure privacy to solve conflict we must have to assure privacy everyone's privacy listen activity we have to listen we have to listen actively to everybody to every individuals giving same importance maintain equality giving same importance you have to hear you have to judge everyone focus on issue not on personality you have to focus you have to glorify the main problem main theme not the person whose problem it is or who creates this problem your main issue is the key point find out the key points avoid blame you have to avoid blaming blaming everybody blaming can never solve any conflicts identify key theme you have to that means the earlier we said focus on issues that is the identify key themes what you have to do on what you resolve you have to find this out for the very first time restate key theme frequently exercise the key theme exercise the re repeat your themes repeat your focus points that can find out you find out solutions encourage feedback the feedbacks who which you get from others other persons if you encourage them for their feedback they they always tries to give you better feedbacks they always tries to contemplate on your pro problems and can find out proper solutions identify alternate solutions a conflict a problem must have some other solutions not one thing solution may vary for vary upon times place persons financial things so you have to find out more than one solutions feedback giving positive feedback is the process of is the steps of resolve conflicts if you give positive feedback you can get you can desire you can go for another feedbacks from the individuals agree on an action plan you have to agree on one specific action plan how to solve these problems in this picture the two opposite idea the one person one idea and the another idea makes 
the best idea the blue the bluest one two opposite idea two different ideas can always makes can always hits upon a hits upon the best idea so you have to amalgamate you have to amalgamate the ideas to find out to get the best one this is the positive outcome of conflict though we considered conflict as negative something it has lots of positive influences such as binds people together persevere a relationship sorry preserve a relationship helps to define and clarify structure and expectations better decision increase productivity leads to new growths and ideas energies and increase people's motivation these are the positive outcomes of conflict you can learn these positive outcomes or conflict about the conflict management in your later lessons today's task for you you have three questions here first one what is conflict make a definition of conflict yourself your own the second one is what are the causes of conflict after reading this text after the class what causes do you find the third one is is there any positive impact of conflict if your answer is yes if yes list some of them just point out some of the positive impact of conflict thank you this is all for the day this is a Uh, crucial time for the world not for our own country in this pandemic day we are locked down in our into our home i hope you are staying in your home you are following the rules and regulations of the authority and i hope you will be safe you will be follow all the features all the instructions of the authority to keep yourself safe and sound please stay home be safe be protective and keep learning thank you all thank you very much